My name is Sarah Rimkis, and I'm one of the composers who have written for the Ligeti Quartet. I did work with them last year, so in fact, uh, it was so nice working with them that I've written this piece this year as a little bit of a companion piece to the piece that I wrote for the Ligeti Quartet last year. Working with an instrumental ensemble as closely as this is terrifying in the best possible way. They'll ask you questions and they'll uh, discuss different interpretations with you quite a lot. And uh, on the one hand, you, you have to really know what you want out of the music, which is important for any composer, but that, that's how we learn to be so, um, so definitive in our vision for these pieces. Uh, but also, uh, they even find music in, in your work that you didn't even know was there sometimes. So it, they bring out all the best in you working with an ensemble like this. These are experts in their instruments and of course they should challenge you because that's how you'll learn how to write for these instruments better. Um, I think that the quartet um, they, they actually had a couple of uh, discussions about how best to interpret the piece where they, they weren't necessarily quite agreeing um, on, on how to interpret it and they were looking to me for that so it's always good to be challenged in that way too when, when they're genuinely not quite sure of, uh, of how to interpret particular things. I really enjoy these concerts that have lots of different composers on them. Um, that's, that's something that we get kind of used to, I think. We end up doing that quite a lot. So it's really, it's really fun to see. You might think that it would be a little bit intimidating, and sometimes it is. There's always a little bit of that. But uh, we all, when we all write uh, what we want to write, and we write from our hearts, I guess, uh, it does genuinely end up being quite different in what we all produce, so I'm really looking forward to hearing all the other pieces as well. I am from Bainbridge Island, Washington. I grew up playing piano, so I played the piano from the age of six, and about nine or ten years into my piano lessons, I started to realize that I was, I was really more interested in getting involved in the, the theory and the inner workings of the music than I ended up going to university for composition at the University of Southern California in Los Angeles and now I'm in Aberdeen, Scotland. My piece for the Ligeti Quartet is called Lejan, which means with intensity in Gaelic, in Scottish Gaelic. And uh, for this piece and the piece that I wrote for the quartet last year, I was focused on the ways in which string instruments can uh, often sound a bit like the human voice. And I think that's one of the reasons why composers have had such a love affair with string instruments for such a long time. So I, I used a lot of sounds um, uh, that, that sort of imitate vocal qualities. And in this piece, I did that by, by having them play up on the bridge a lot. So you get a lot of those upper overtones and using sort of wispier air sounds as the ending fades up into nothing. This piece is pretty incessant and re repetitive. There are a lot of uh, running semi-quavers and, and figures like that. And I wanted to ratchet up the tension as much as I could throughout the piece to create that intensity that I think is inherent in my compositional style. I've lived in Scotland uh, for almost four years now. I came in fall of 2014. And I think I've, uh, I've learned to love it so much in a musical sense because uh, the folk traditions in Scotland I find very energetic. It's a very energetic and, um, and dynamic culture and uh, people, people don't take themselves too seriously and, and there's, there's some things like that that I think have, uh, have influenced me quite a lot and helped me grow as a person, which, which helps you grow as a composer in turn.